It's like a pistol, you don't want to point at you Y'all are annoying you Y'all are like rats racing in a gas chamber Y'all can't avoid the fumes Y'all in a cage locked by deranged thoughts are like rage Hi, good morning people Um It's time to do another video breakdown, I guess I have a, like, long form video Uh, that I'll be breaking down that entire shit show that he had last night. But I decided I might as well respond to one of these things. And Joey, for the record, I was laughing my motherfucking ass off last night. <laughs> Every time you raise your voice and get triggered, I giggle, bro. Um, and you even have my number, so you could call me up and ask me whether or not I was laughing. I was laughing at you, dog. <laughs> But I picked this video because it's like eight minutes long and that's about as much of Tyree Sneed as I can take right now. So let's hear him try to convince himself he's fucking amazing while he stays until last call at Spider House because he doesn't have a place to go. All right, let's go into it. Yo, 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 so what's up, it's Tyree Sneed. Goddamn, I'm in a good mood after fucking letting all that shit out and fucking taking a shit on this bitch, on all these bitches. Um, none of that happened, Tyree. Your equivalence of, I owned you, I proved you wrong, is, most people would just say, I disagree. But your disagreement is not equivalent to proof. You know that, right? Um, You didn't own anybody. I was laughing at you for like 15 minutes. And then I went back to do what I, doing what I was doing. And you were swearing Ashes was watching it. But Ashes didn't watch it, bro. Um, <laughs> I had to tell her about it later. It's funny. Um, but, um, you didn't shit on anybody. What, what did you do? You blocked me, hid from me again, like the pussy you are, again, and then act like you shut me down. No, you would shut me down if I had the freedom to type as much as I wanted in your chat, and you could factually shut me down with arguments Using logic, reason, math, science, anything. That would be shutting me down and owning me. Telling me to fuck off, I'm irrelevant, and then talking about me for eight minutes. Like, I don't know where you think that's going to get you, homeboy. So, now you know, don't ever come at me incorrect ever again. See, all your shit is empty. Your words are empty, your life's empty, you're empty, you got no fucking soul, that's your fucking problem. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Are you projecting much, Joey? Because you like to make these assumptions that, like, our lives are empty, our lives don't have meaning. Yo, just because I don't fucking live stream every fucking second of the day and make a spreaker, like, a little fucking homo, I guess. I'm allowed to say that word, because, you know. You know. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, just because you document every fucking moment of your life does not mean the moment I'm not on camera, I stand still like a mannequin. I'm not sure if that's what you assume, like, if the camera's not rolling, that we all just stand still and wait. But we don't. Bro, we we dealing with our lives and shit. But go ahead, tell me this one thing. You will regret this shit at one point. You will regret it immensely. And it's gonna hurt. You know what I'm saying? And all I want you to know is that you fucking wrong. You know what I mean? And, and not only is you wrong, but you fucked up the most beautiful thing that anyone has ever had. And you were lucky enough to have it and you blew that. And it wasn't because of no bullshit you talking about. It was because you insecure and you suffering from fucking mental illness, bitch. And that's what happened. 
because I shine too great and because your ego couldn't take the fact that I was figuring your bullshit out. All right. Can you just listen to the irony of him telling somebody else that their ego couldn't handle him shining too brightly? Bro, you're the narcissist. Listen to yourself right now. You're saying there's no other love on earth like the love that you had for her. Are you out of your motherfucking mind, bro? Actually, yes. Yes, you are. And you feel inferior to me. And you're jealous of anything that I do. That's basic shit that people got to do to live their life. I got gifts. I'm doing shit nobody doing. But you was jealous of a basic job. You know? I'm going to explain something to you real quick, bro. You bitch ass mama. Yeah. You know what narcissistic mothers do? They fuck up their child's life. So it's undeniable. You should be able to factually... I know you don't use logic because you're fucking retarded because of your mental problem. Did you just call her fucking retarded? When you work an hourly job, you get paid by the hour. And you don't know how taxes work. And you somehow believe you can make more money by working less hours because for some reason fucking, I guess it boggles your mind, the more money you make, the more they tax you. No nah, shit, asshole. God damn you fucking stupid. Oh, and by the way, when you pointed to your tooth and said, hey, this is a murder attempt, didn't you say you pulled your own tooth? So was that a suicide attempt, Harry? Or are you just a total fucking idiot for pointing to your little tooth hole and saying, it's a murder attempt. They try to kill me, not me. They try to kill me with cavities. Fucking loser. <laughs> Let's not stand on ceremony here. Mr. Wayne. Alright, let's skip this. Let's see where this goes. All these people. I'm gonna always... And stop looking from yours. Narcissistic mother fucked up your life. And that's what narcissistic mothers do. They fuck up their child's life. So just look from a different point of view and stop looking from yours and take the time to look from the outside in. Use a daughter. Powerful agents to the uninitiated. But we are initiated. I'm going to always haunt you. And you will regret this shit. That's some creepy ass shit to say. I'm always going to haunt you and you will regret this shit. Bro, let it go. You know what screams? I don't get pussy that much. Harping on pussy you got like fucking two seasons ago. That's That tells me you ain't getting pussy. Because if you're getting pussy, what, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? I mean, she's getting dick because she don't think about you much other than... Uh, for sure, entertainment value to just piss you off, but, you know, <laughs> it's one of the reasons I love Ashes. Immensely. I imagine reality is already hitting and you already are. You know what I mean? Like I said, just understand, you're the fucking child, the innocent child that allowed people to corrupt you and fuck you up. And it's just fucking sad. It's fucking beyond sad. Who corrupted her and fucked her up? Because you say her mother, but... Like, that don't make sense. And then it's a, like, demonic people online. That, like... Fuck it. You don't make sense no matter what you say. Let's just get... Whatever. You know what I mean? But like I said... I'm done giving a fuck. I ain't rooting for you no more. You're on your fucking own. And the door's shut and closed. I really... Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put down my phone. Hold on. Actually, let me start that off slower for you, Joey. Ready? Woo! 
Look at you letting go of shit fucking five months later. Look at you. But you ain't gonna let it go. So I just wasted that whole fucking round of applause on a bum who's just gonna repeat this shit in 15 minutes. So. Like you owe me for the fuck that I almost gave. I don't want you back. I don't want you over here. I want you to fuck away from me where you belong. You know what I mean? You're a joke. And that's just what it is. Other than that, um, somebody else gonna get everything you had. Somebody way better and a way better looking bitch who's gonna. Now, Tyree, just common sense and logic. If you truly believe that. You were going to get someone better than Ashley. Why were you trying to get Ashley back for so long? Like, wouldn't you be ready to move on to bigger and better things? Kind of just sounds like she moved on to, like, better things. Definitely bigger things, I'll tell you that much. But, yeah, bigger and better things, but... Congratulations on shutting that door after fucking how many months? Fucking have a heart and want me for my soul. And it's going to be way more fucking beautiful and fucking everything that you're not. It's quite frankly ugly in the first fucking place. It was never why I was with you. I was with you because I thought you were somebody completely different. And you know what I mean? I wanted to fucking help and... You know, I tried, bro. I really tried. I tried my fucking hardest. And you're just a fucking bottomless pit of bullshit and a joke. And you see, you know, see, I don't get this. Sometimes you say, you know, she was sent in as an op to fucking destroy you. And then you get on this tangent where you're like, I tried my hardest. If someone was plotting against you from the jump, why are you trying your hardest to be against somebody who doesn't fucking like you? Like, that's sad, bro. By the way, I know you're probably going to listen to this video because you, <laughs> you watched my clip of video. That was very nice of you to give me a shout out. By the way, um, stop ducking the battle. Stop ducking it, little bitch. Little pussy ass bitch. Little, I'm the white King Kong. I can't write shit else, bitch. You are me, little fucking loser. I want to sit there and play fucking games. It's a joke, bro. You know what I mean? It's a fucking joke. I was never really with you. You're not ever really with anyone. You're just going to dance around and try to find fucking heroin and throw your whole fucking life away. And that shit ain't going to last forever. He already. Bro, she's clean. You refuse to accept that because the idea of her doing better in life irritates the fuck out of you. Because it invalidates your point that you are the greatest creation of all time and everyone should be blessed to be around you. If someone's in a better position after you, it kind of defeats your whole objective idea of reality I guess getting old and when the narcissist gets old it's a wrap you know what I mean it's a wrap bro I can't believe that you such a clown you can't open your eyes and see what's around you which is shit and horrible circumstances and nothing you know what I mean like it blows my mind that you have situations handed to you I'd kill for and just throw them away <laughs> Like nothing. For bullshit. You know what I mean? For straight bullshit. Do you know how much Ashes probably wishes she was born into a fucking filthy rich family? And you talking about she has all the advantages. Yo, honestly, go fuck yourself. You are a little white boy from Texas who was born into privilege. Joey, you are not street. 
You were not hard. You were not about that life. You were not a rapper. You don't have the biggest dick. You aren't handsome. You missing teeth. You got toe blisters. Like, I could go on and on, bro. You don't shower. Your hair's too long. You're starting to look like a fucking lesbian at Lowe's. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with you. You ain't said nothing. That's the whole point. You know what I mean? The fact is, everybody better than you. Nobody better than me. And everyone knows that. And now everybody knows the truth about you and the reality of shit. And you call other people a narcissist. That's hilarious. You know what I mean? That you ain't nothing but a broke down piece of shit. You forced your way into my life. You forced your way into this fake relationship with me. You forced everything. I never wanted you. Nobody wants you. I'm just giving you a newsflash. Bro, I never wanted you. Nothing you ever said was true. Everything that you said was If you never wanted her, then why did you say you just ended it and closed the door now? Implying that the door was open at some point prior to you saying that because it was your official declaration of closing said door. So if that's true, the door was open, meaning you would have taken her back. And you wanted her back. Like, how many videos do you want me to upload? Do you want me to just make a whole bunch, like a whole compilation of videos of you just crying and whining? And I just come back. All you have to do is sing. Do you want me to do that? Because I could do that. I could mash that up. I'll mash it up with a clip of this, of you talking shit and just contradicting yourself. That's fine. Like, let me know. What is it? What is it going to be, bro? true about you you obsess with me still to this day you are my dick uh, you fight like a younger man there's nothing held back <laughs> that i probably had freemasonry all through my family you seem to forget the fact that all that shit what? My grandfather is the supreme court judge I don't know how we got to that topic, but hopefully after... What is with this intermittent fucking Batman shit? This shit is fucking stupid, bro. This shit makes no sense. But then again, you talking don't make no sense. Alright, I guess. I guess you're going with the theme of no theme. So like I said, man, you seem to forget the fact that my motherfucking grandfather is the Supreme Court judge. Okay, that I probably had Freemasonry all through my family. You seem to forget the fact that all that shit coursed through my blood. I thought you were against Freemasonry. Now you're saying it's in your blood? If you say you disavow it now, so you're saying, what, you hate yourself? I, I don't understand. Go. Blood in my veins. And you picked the wrong fucking one. Just believe me on that. You picked the wrong one. Very simple. And the shit is not going to stop. It's not going to stop for you. It's not going to stop for nobody. And you're just an irrelevant bitch. And a fucking sucker. I don't know how... She was the fool in the situation. You fell for it, and then you begged her back up until a little, probably about 45 seconds ago, where you said you shut the door on her. Like, that, there's no turning back now. Yeah. Like, she wasn't even looking back. She was so far away from you, she didn't even hear you say that shit. But also, I just want to point out, on your little fucking, like, live stream and shit, you said some shit like, you didn't play nobody, ho. Like, I sent you $200, but if you really think about it, when we first started talking, you probably sent me that much money, you know, just helping me in, like, donations. So, you didn't steal nothing, ho. All right, well, if she gave you about $200, and then you gave her $200, aren't you too even? Why do you keep saying, like... 
But we know you won't pay that back, bitch. What happens to you paying her back for the donation she gave you? That's your fucking girl. You really asking your girlfriend for donations? Like, are you fucking serious right now, bro? So your $200 would basically be repayment for all the money she sent to you. So you could go fuck yourself. She doesn't owe you anything. And by the way, you still probably have to pay that money back on the $100 front, don't you? <laughs> so you're going to keep seeing my movement coming. You're going to keep seeing us build. You know what I mean? You're going to keep seeing us do what we do. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're just going to have to sit there and watch the shit. And be upset because you can't stop it. And we know you want to. Tyree, I would not stop your rate of progression for anything in the world. Because you're moving at like the slowest pace ever. So, <laughs> no, mm -mm. no. I'm not mad at your progression. I'm happy you're moving at a snail's pace. Feel me? It's that simple. I know I clearly don't give a fuck about your rules over here. That's why I'm smoking. We're kicking y'all's ass, man, and y'all's just gonna have to deal with it. Tyree is currently walking into probably an abandoned building so we could sleep there for the night. Oh, yeah, we're all jealous of your position. Ooh, I would love to be walking around in the middle of the night, like, trying to sneak a cigarette in, like, the lobby of a building. Fucking fantastic. Ah, uh, you're living like a king. What happened to your free lemonade? I'm breaking you fools, breaking y'all down in the street and on this shit, and we're gonna keep breaking you. You understand? Bro, you aren't breaking anything. The only thing you breaking right now is the sweat. That's it. Right? Shut the fuck up. They can see. All right? <laughs> and I know it hurts. Believe me, I know it hurts. You can pretend and act all you want. I know I'm getting underneath your fucking skin. I know exactly how to bother you, how to get under your skin. I know what triggers you. And it's that simple. It's a wrap, bro. I got you all by the balls. You know, vice grip. You know what I mean? So, like I said, we gonna keep doing what we doing. We gonna keep killing shit. And we beating your ass, and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just gonna have to sit there and take your ass whooping. Take it like a man. You know what I mean? Get on your knees and pray. Get on your knees and fucking pray. You're not ready for this shit. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Bro, you ain't about nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. You won't even fucking battle me because you shook. You a scared little bitch, ain't you? It's funny. I'm, sh I'm sure, like, when you whip out your dick, women are like, Oh, cute. Is that nanny or an Audi? Like, you are, you're just a fucking bitch-made individual. You turned down a fight with free travel, free lodging. You turn down a rap battle because you know you get fucking chewed up and spit out. Uh. And. Financially, you will be at the same point perpetually for the rest of your life. And nothing brings more of a smile to my face than that. <laughs> 
honestly, go fuck yourself, um, Joey. Like, you don't intimidate anybody. I'll laugh at you. You funny as fuck. You, like, you can't possibly believe the shit you're saying. Because you're the goofiest, doofiest motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, fuck this. I'm out.